SNES Drunk. Welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Robotrek, and Drunk got clean again. It's time to cure uh, Leonard. I, c I cleared out all four of those things. Each time you cross that middle path there, it sounds off some alarms. Four different hackers, groups of hackers rather, come out. And uh, I chose to fight them that time in the hopes of getting to level 16. I'm still not there. And no, I'm not going to sit here and grind. But I am going to wander around aimlessly because I don't know where to go. I guess I just go back where I came from and tell Mint that there's nothing down here. This is, I'll be damned if I know <laughs> if there's anything else to do. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I forgot I have that key so I can... Still unlock that door. Yeah, sorry, Mint. Nobody there. <laughs> and she leaves, and she didn't run into the wall again. Good for her. She's making progress. So, let's uh, carefully make our way back over to... Yeah, this way, right? Yes. Let us equip this key here. Ugh. There we go. And more enemies. Got both those guys cleared out, so let's uh, continue on. Giblet stew. Boy, that sure sounds appetizing. Oh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Are you drunk? Chameleon glasses, eh? Yeah, I want some. Oh, come on. What are you, a Republican? Pull yourself up by your bootstraps and do it yourself. I don't care what kind of circumstances you have, you have to deal with. All right, I, I want to get a political discussion on here. No, no thanks. Anyway, yeah, sure, I've got all the time in the world. I'm only on our episode 20. Oh, okay. So do I... Do you actually give me anything, or... <laughs> wow, that's that's kind of a goofy little touch there. I like it. So do you... Okay, thanks, but what do I actually give them? Do I just say I'm from catering and they let me in? Aren't they going to be mad when I don't have any food? No, these must all be the same thing. Rebuilding humans. Goodness. That's kind of creepy. Anyway, let's go. Uh... Sure, let's fight that guy. I'm still not to level 16, and at this point, I'm getting too far away from that uh, office. To... Getting too far away from that location to uh, go back and learn whatever skill. So I'm just going to keep going this way. Go to the uh, research and development room. Whoa, what is that thing? 800 gold that I won't need. So what in the heck is this? It looks kind of like a mutated version of the thing from Metal Storm for NES. Oh, but he's got lightsabers. Dual lightsabers. Let's just guard for now. Let him get close to you. Oh, and he knocks you back. That sucks. There you go. Nice job, Leonard. There you go. So yeah, those guys are going to present the problem. So. Hmm, wonder what those guys are. They appear to be guarding a door down there. What's in here? More enemies. More new enemies. Let's check out this guy. Looks like a lion with... Insect wings and red eyes. Okay. All right, I was able to block his attack. That's why you want to equip one of your robots with a shield so they can do the... Uh, wow, this is frustrating. I'm, I'm hitting you with an ax an inch from your face, and you're saying I'm missing? No, the answer is no. 
God, see, I'm getting like two gigs or two megs per battle of experience, and it's just, I, I'm still not leveled up. Damn it. Yeah, gotta heal Leonard after that, just to be sure, just to be on the safe side. Okay. <sighs> this game loves to give you money, if nothing else. Get around this guy, sure. Okay. God, this maze is just huge. And there's a million different spots you can go to, a million different doors. Just don't know where to go. Guess I'll just keep going to the left here. Even though the guy sold me to go to the right, and apparently here it is. Yeah, I don't actually have any food for you, sorry. I'm just kind of in here. Oh, hey, finally, level 12. And level 13. And I don't need either of those things. And the chameleon glasses, cool, I learned how to make those. So once I find the R&D room, hopefully this is it back here. Ah, it is, good. So I can make the chameleon glasses. Which means that um, I should be able to see those traps, I guess, that, that trigger those hackers, the alarms or whatever. I'm not sure what other uh, usefulness they have outside of that. I'll find out, I guess. I've already forgotten what Kotetsu told me in terms of like what they're supposed to be for, so whatever. Anything else I want to do? I honestly am not sure. Obviously, I gotta, yeah, regenerate these guys, but is there any, like, combinations or anything like that I can do with any of the stuff I just learned? Let's see. No, none of this stuff really seems like it'd be very useful. And I don't want to waste time experimenting with stuff. I think Sword 2 might be. If you could combine Sword 2 into a thing, to a level 9 Sword 2, maybe that could be better than what I have now, but I'm not willing to mess around with that yet. And you have nothing new to say. Mandamouse laser, though. Interesting. Yeah. So I guess it's like a shrinking machine. Or turning a guy into a mouse or something. So you guys don't care that I don't have any food. I, I, I was supposed to be from catering to bring you food, and you just don't care. Let's get rid of this guy. And finally, I got to level 16. And uh, too little too late, though, because uh, I'm not going all the way back to uh, Dr. Einz's room or wherever the level 16 book was. So we're just going to have to deal with that. I at least know where level 15 is. Level 15 is in, uh, I think it's in my dad's house. And yeah, we're going to go all the way to, to up the guard to level 80. Or not level 80, but like 80 points on guard. Because, uh, yeah, like I said earlier in pre past episodes, you're going to want to freaking get your guard up as high as possible. Because these guys deal a lot of damage at this point. So, let's go down the stairs and get some of these items. Huh. See, there's so many different ways you can go, and it's everything kind of looks the same. More money I don't need. Not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna tap out on this game after this episode. This might so I if you're watching this as part of a walkthrough and you're playing the game along with me, somehow I doubt that, because I'm not the best person to play along with in this <laughs> in this sense. I'm not the greatest let's play guy. But if you are, I apologize. Uh, I I'm gonna have to move on to something else eventually. I was thinking of Mega Man X2. I think that'd be fun. I love I, Mega Man is my favorite game franchise, so I need, need something different after this game. And let's face it, I think this Let's Play will eventually reach 60, 70, 75, 80. Who knows how many parts. Ugh, I don't know where the hell to go. Oh, I'm down by these guys. Oh, well, hello to you, too. Ah, the R&D money. Okay. Why is that important? Uh, see if I can avoid this guy. Yes, I can. Nice. 
Well played there. Okay, so that that's uh, that's all that's over here. So <sighs> yeah, I can't go under there. Avoid this guy. Those things are easy to avoid, at least. They're not. I mean, it's not like they're that difficult to to uh, play. Uh oh, that guy saw me. Do some moves like Barry Sanders. Anyway, yeah, I think this is going to be it for a while for Robotrek for me. Um, maybe I'll do Mega Man X or Mega Man X2 or something. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And have a great rest of your day.